talking Indian today, huh? Yes, this is our most requested video ever. Are we gonna speak in Hindi? No. So not Indian enough, huh? <laughs> so this list is the Indian edition. The favorite books by Indian authors. Seven greatest books written by Indian authors which are appreciated all over the world. So since we're talking about the greatest Indian authors and you know the greatest Indian literature works, obviously our list begins with Salman Rushdie. Midnight Children. He's actually one of my favorite authors of all time. And uh, he definitely tops this list. Mm -hmm. Midnight's Children won the Booker Prize three times. Also won a fatwa. <laughs> you are such a bitch. Mm -hmm. Salman Rushdie is actually one of the greatest books ever written. And if you're an Indian, this book is a must read. But if you're a bibliophile, anyway, this book is a must read. This book hints child psychology, Islamic world, supernatural powers, and, and patriots. And most importantly, Indra Gandhi, to your surprise. Uh, the evils of Congress. And you'll know much more about India. Yes, than uh, reading about Wikipedia or Googling for hours yeah. just by reading just this reading. book. And this is not a political. Even though the uh, sideline theme is Congress and Indira Gandhi, this book is not a political read. This book is a fantasy, a fairy tale, and talking about life. This book is a masterpiece. And one do of read favorites. this one. Yes. Number two. Shwan Singh Train to Pakistan. You must yes. have heard of this book, even yes. if you haven't read this book. Yeah, it's a very famous book. Why is it a famous book? I'll tell you why. Yeah. This book okay. captures horrors of Indian partition. And this was one of the earliest novels to do so. And Kushwan Singh has done a very scary job writing this book. But then we all know Kushwan Singh is not uh, any normal person. That's explaining why this book is a bestseller. Yes. Take a wild guess. Oh no, it's not Chetan Bhagat. <laughs> how, how can we miss Chetan Bhagat? Because it says favorite books or top seven <laughs> books by Indian authors. Chetan Bhagat is top seven. Opalas. The God of Small Things <laughs> by Arundhiti Roy. <laughs> and this one again is a Booker Prize winner. So India has many Booker Prizes. And this book is a masterpiece in itself. So this book is not just written. This book is crafted. This book is designed. It... It talks about some other dimension. I mean, it does not talk about, but when you read it, you feel, you know, some out of the space, out of the world. The God of Small Things is a big book. I could not think of a better word. I use big. I'm so stupid. Okay. It's a big book. Yeah, it's a big it's book. It's a big book. We okay, see. It's a big book. What are you Number three on the greatest Indian writings ever. Talking about women writers and Booker Prize, our number four is Kiran Desai, The Inheritance of Loss. So it gives you the effect that you're living in such a messed up, uh, colloquial society, yeah, yeah, yeah. right? This book is very natural, very realistic, and it produces a strange effect. So, uh, yeah, it's like one of the most uh, realistic novels written out there, you know, which makes you think about the world and society and yourself. You know those books that uh, make you... Uh, lie on the floor for hours and you don't want to do anything you just want to lie and look at the ceiling or sky for hours and Pizza hours the same, Samisha. because the world does not make sense because you're fat <laughs> family matters <laughs> this book is uh, family matters by rohinton mystery okay so when i started reading it it seemed like you know what an everyday book a, a normal book by indian author talking not very uh but Nothing very ordinary, but you know, but coming since it's a huge book, you have to realize that there must be something coming yes, up. Yes, and yeah. oh my god, there this comes this one chapter where like five character dies. Where Ekta Kapoor kills everyone. No, this is not even Ekta Kapoor. This book is so nice. Because it's family matters. Family matters, yes. And this book stall, uh, this, th this book, uh, so this book has this uh, character, just haunts him. Something like we all live with, like you know, when you when you are 60 and you remember how things were when you were 20 and 30 and haunts you, things you could have done but you didn't do. Or your ex haunts you because you have bad memories related to your ex. Something like that. Yeah. Something like that. So, you know how uh, scary it could be to live in this world and how much you will regret not listening to your heart. Or to your mind because my, your mind told you to leave your ex. Or because but you don't have a mind in the oh, first place. True, true. Uh, Rohinton uh, Family Matters is my personal favorite and I'm, I'm personally recommending it. It's a series. It's a series. <laughs> uh -huh. uh, we have featured the series before. Amish Tripathi. Shivat Thailogy. Oh yeah, yeah. A very interesting fictionalized version of Lord Shiv. I'm yet to read this but a I'm Hindu so excited. Deity. 
Okay. It's not like some religious shit or anything. This mm-hmm. is actually a very interesting series and uh, you know very modern characters. I'll tell you an interesting part which makes me want to read this. The Shivling. The secret why the Shivling looks like that, you will understand. Through the unfolds many mysteries. Yeah. Yes. Of religious myths that we are living with, uh, living with, and we don't question why is this, why is that. So, yeah. The last Indian author. This is my favorite cover. <laughs> The White Tiger by Arvind Abiga. And this is not about a tiger. No, not even white. <laughs> not even any tiger. This no. book, uh, it, it's, it's more like a thriller, you know, crime and all. I mean, this book reminded me of Crime and Punishment by Fyodor Dostoevsky. If you know, Crime and Punishment. Like, I have that character in Seven Most Complicated Characters, Plus Kolnikov from Crime and Punishment by Fyodor Dostoevsky. <laughs> Keep talking. <laughs> So we are just ending the list with Arvind Adhigas, The White Tiger, The Booker Prize Winner. Oh, it's a good book. Yeah, it is not overrated. In fact, all those books which we have just featured are one of are the most famous yeah. books by Indian. Not just our personal favorite. And favorites. we understand why they are the best sellers. They are not overrated. Not any one of them. They are really, really great books. Um, a shout out to Shadowlines. Yeah, there are um, some of the Indian authors which yeah. are... Uh, like, obviously, when we talk about Indian uh, literature people, the first thing that comes to our mind is Rabindranath Tagore. But the language is a little difficult, I think. Yeah, so, it, so we're uh, yes. giving you the language where everybody can read it. And for you beginners out there, congratulations! Also, Amitabh Ghosh is an all time favorite. The Shadow Lines is one of the greatest books ever written. But since we've already featured it previously, so we wanted to give you a fresh list of one of the best authors. These are the seven authors that were parting with the many authors, which were hmm. great. Hmm. But they, these are the seven Yes. we really liked, and everybody would. And we as an Indian, you should totally read them. We hope you like this video. Let us know if you like any of the book or if you have read any of these books and did you like it or did you not. Um, and the bookmark is blogging. How cool oh, is yes. that? Wow. You can read our blogs. Link is in the bio. Don't forget to check them out. The first blog is my favorite. Go yes. read it. And, and yeah, there will be like, you know, written form of the videos and behind the scenes and you know what goes on. First blog is the beginning of, you know, how it went on. on. You know, it's a very in, nice, yeah. sweet story we wrote. So yeah, I think you'll enjoy reading our blogs. Do read it. Do let us know. Go follow us there. Subscribe here. Also, on Mole is on Instagram and Twitter. Go follow her there. I am on Goodreads. You can check out my Goodreads. You know, if you don't know, Goodreads is a website where you, it's like Facebook, but instead of friends, you have books. So, isn't that better? And you can upload your books, which ones you read, which ones you have to read. Yeah. And like us on Facebook. And don't forget to subscribe. Bye-bye.